Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got these two little beauties to work on. These are pie pumpkins that I picked up at the store. So they're pretty much the same size. Oh no, what's this? Another rotten spot. That's like the third pumpkin this year. Oh well. All right, let's get to it. Tea lights, something to put your seeds, a pointy thing. And I picked up this pumpkin carving set at the dollar store. Now I start off with a little saw and then I upgrade to the big saw because I ain't got time for that. I tried to cut two sides so they would match each other as best I could. Then I took my little knife from my carving kit and the little scraper and a spoon and did my best to hollow out the insides. Pie pumpkins and regular pumpkins are a bit different. Pie pumpkins are smaller and they also have more flesh. Like they're thicker on the outside than a regular pumpkin. And I find a little bit more stringy. So it took me a little longer to hollow out these guys. So I had to cut one of the holes a little bit bigger. I stuck that extra piece back onto the pumpkin that I'd cut it off with using some toothpicks. I just stuck them through and then snapped them off. And no one will be the wiser. I doodled on face number one and then face number two and then I cut them out. Using knives and my little cutty tools, which I'm still getting used to, but seem to be working pretty good. Matchy matchy! A little bit more scraping to get the hangy bits down. Be careful with the knife, I nearly ruined this pumpkin with it. Go in with your knife and winding up the backs of your holes to let more light through. Alright, just like that. I'm going to cut a square out of the back of one of my pumpkins so you can put candles in it. I put them together lightly with some toothpicks just so I could line them up so I could drill some holes for stitches. Because we're having a two-headed pumpkin! <laughs> I probably should have cut a square out of both sides, but hindsight's 20-20. I start with my yarn and tie a big knot in one end, and then I start out with a really long needle. And realized that was a bad choice, so then I traded it to a small needle. And stitched my pumpkins together. Now this was a little tricky, because I really couldn't see what I was doing and... Well, there wasn't a lot of room to work with. But I used the uh, pair of long needle nose pliers to help push and pull and grab the needle to work it through the holes. Also, uh, the pumpkin flesh is soft enough that you can actually push the needle through the flesh itself if you need to add extra stitches, but drilling holes is just a lot easier, I found. I started from the back, I went all the way around the front and underneath and ended at the back again, just below where I cut my square. I had to drill some more holes. You have other holes in your pumpkin. Eyes, nose, and mouth. Don't be afraid to use those to help you finish stitching them up. And when you're done, just tie them to the big knot you started with 
and he should be good to go. And then you just put your back on and put it in place with a toothpick. And voila! Your two-headed pumpkin is finished. They're so cute! They weren't too bad at all. A little tricky, but I think I got it. There's probably an easier way to do this. I just don't know what it is. <gasps> I'd like to try this again with bigger pumpkins. I think it'd be a lot easier. I'm starting to think this place is haunted. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely if I'm gonna make these again, make them with bigger pumpkins, cause that was, that was aggravating, man. Okay, I think we're done for today.